What's up YouTube? Faros here, just checking in today um, about my insanity workout routine. I just finished the stretch day, I think it's called cardio recovery. I would have to double check on that. I'm pretty sure it's called cardio recovery. Yeah, there's cardio recovery and then max recovery or something like that for week two, or for month two, excuse me. Anyway, I just finished that, and today I want to talk about how important stretching is. This is going to be a very quick video, but uh, the story of today is the same as it was the last three days. Today's day four. It's Thursday. It's the fourth day of the month, and uh, I've been in serious pain since I started, and I say the same thing every video, but insanity kicks your butt. It's supposed to hurt. That's how you know you're working your muscles. That's how you know you've been inactive for a while. And that's how you know your muscles are going to make progress. They're going to break down and they're going to hurt while they're building themselves back up. And that is why stretching is so important because part of the reason I'm in pain is just because of what I just said. But another part is because maybe I could use to stretch a little more or when I am stretching, stretch a little better because sometimes, and this is a fault of mine, this is not something you should do, this is a fault of me personally, that I work on each workout, and I'm conscious of, I just know it's something I need to work on even more, is that I'll exert myself so much in the exercises, because I feel like that, for me, it's like I have a voice in the back of my head that says, this is when you gotta push, this is when you gotta dig deep, this is when you gotta do everything you can. And I do, I do everything I can. I'll push and push and push, and when I'm about to quit, I'll say one more second. And when I'm about to quit, I'll say one more second. And I will exhaust myself that way to the point to where afterwards, I collapse for a second. Now I'm totally conscious and everything, I'm just tired, I can't move. And they'll get up and start stretching afterwards, like after the, um, the when this happens in the videos, is after the warm up, you go from warm up to stretch at the beginning of the video and then at the very end of the video you go from your last exercise to another stretching uh, period there's two periods of stretching each uh, workout video so sometimes I'll miss a little bit of the stretch and then I'll be playing catch-up I won't miss the whole thing sometimes I'll stay down there maybe 30 seconds and then I'll like do what I know they were already doing and catch back up again this is a flaw of mine this is not perfect and when I get in better shape I will make sure I don't miss any of the stretch or any exercise but right now when you're out of shape I recognize well you gotta pick your battles with these workouts almost it's like <laughs> you gotta choose where to push and choose where to rest and for me I try to really push in the exercises and then I rest up during the stretch and recover and then get into the stretch as best I can as soon as I can but I just want you guys to t why I'm saying this is I'm hoping maybe you can learn from me and that make sure if you're someone out there that's skimping on the stretch don't especially if you're in pain after these workouts that's the most important part i think is uh and it's the best way to reduce the amount of pain you're getting the next day or day to day and it'll reduce the amount of strain you put on your muscles is just by stretching them better so get into those stretches listen to what sean t's saying do it as good as you can and as you do these stretches, what I try to do when I'm in it, and I'm trying to do it as best as I can, I'll watch their form on TV. I've seen it a million times at this point, so a lot of times it's in my head. But I'll watch them on TV, and I'll try to replicate it exactly. I'll get in there. I'll try to get the same form they do, and then maybe push a little bit further. A little bit further. And the whole time I'm doing the stretch, I'll try to keep pushing a little bit further until it's a real stretch. You know, you can get into a position and sometimes... You don't feel like you're stretching that much. Some stretches might be really easy for you, and some might be really hard. But I think a way to double check yourself and know that you're doing it right is you being able to ease into it slowly and gradually until it becomes painful, then more painful, and then you're like, oh, wow, this is how the stretch is supposed to be. This is what I'm supposed to be doing. Because um, it's not supposed to be pleasant. You know, you're really stretching it out. And once you get super strong, I'll tell you this, once you get super strong, it is pleasant. But when you're first starting, you're like, oh, fuck, you know, I can't do that that well. I'm not that limber. You know, sometimes uh, they do some really intense ones. You know, when they're uh, standing on their feet and they bend over and they can put their hands flat on the floor, I can't do that yet. You know, I can put, like, my fingers and the beginning of my palm on the floor, but I can't get my palms flat on the floor. I just can't bend that much yet. And when they do lunges... 
Sean T will tell you, uh, okay, you can do it up high like this and put your palm down, or you can go into a deep lunge and he'll sink way down into it. I mean, it's like it looks like a totally different stretch. He, he'll be up with his feet flat on the ground and then extended, his legs extended, and then have like uh, one hand on his knee and one hand all the way on the floor. Or if he goes into a deep lunge, he'll have his hands out and like one of his feet is cocked up and pointed towards the ceiling. Looks like a totally different stretch. Don't feel like you need to do that right off the bat either. I always start doing deep lunges like at the end of month one, but at the beginning, I never do deep lunges uh, because it's just it's too much for me to get into that right off the bat. And I had an issue where I pulled a groin in a sports injury like five years ago, four or five years ago. And so deep lunges always make me think I'm going to do that again. I'm just really self-conscious about it. So I only do deep lunges when I'm really ready. So that's what I'm, uh, some of the things I'm trying to give tips on is pick your battles with the workouts, but make sure you stretch, make sure you stretch. The stretching will make you feel better and it's gonna prevent injury and prevent pain the next day. And when you see them doing these stretches, they are really, really good at it. And you have to know that and just find out what you can do and make sure with each stretch you're pushing to a point to where you get that tension and you get that stretch and then hold it. And that's what I think that should be your objective for when you're first starting insanity and you're doing the stretch days. That's how I'm doing it anyway. Um, again, just for something to reflect on, I was in pain all day today until I just went and did the stretch video and now I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, my legs are still sore, but I'm feeling good. And this video is cool. If you are watching this, but you haven't done the video yet, but you're going to, this is a cool video. You don't have to get all up in your sports wear. Excuse me. You don't have to have special uh, clothes on for it. If you've got like a pair of pajama shorts, you can do this recovery day in your pajama shorts. It's not, um, you're not running. You're not jumping. You're just uh, doing all sorts of different yoga poses and stretches and uh, giving your body a break day and stretching it out and make sure you're staying limber and ready for the next day. That's all I got for today, dudes. This has been a video on stretching and how important it is. Tomorrow is pure cardio. I'll check in with you guys then. And yeah, hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys worked out today. Hope you guys are feeling great. Sorry for the late upload tonight. I was live streaming earlier, so that took a couple hours out of my day. But um, it's like 10.42 p.m. I guess I'm a fan of the late workouts. I don't know. I just always get around to it late at night. I'll try to change that moving forward so I can get earlier uploads and shorter videos. If we're going on eight minutes on this one. Hey, slash brofist to you if you watched all eight minutes. Put brofist in the comments below because I want to know if anyone actually watches eight minutes. Brofist to those of you who did. Peace out, guys. I'll catch you tomorrow. And um, there will be more live streams, gaming uploads, and uh, things like that this weekend. So um, I'm excited about the YouTube channel where it's going. I'm having fun with these series and uh, I hope you guys are enjoying um, or being able to take anything away from this. Thanks again for watching. Peace!